Welcome to your next video. All right. Uh, I got a little architecture question for you. What do you call two guys hanging from the wall? Give up. Curtain rod. I can hear your laughter already. Okay. Um, we're going to make a basement ceiling and the rest of the ceilings, but the basement is the most complicated one by far. Okay. So we're going to start off with that one. Aren't you excited? I'm sure you are. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to, uh, we're going to start off by going to the second floor ceiling plan. So we're going to go there first. Okay. Um, I'm going to put one ceiling up here to begin with, and then we're going to do the rest later. So, but first what I need to do is I need to make these walls taller. I made a little mistake. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Click on one of these walls up here, right click, go select all instances in entire project. Okay. Change it to eight feet, six inches. Yes, I did this once already because I made a mistake in my video, but just change it to eight, six. So click on it, right click, select all instances in view, in view, and change that to eight, six, and then press escape. Okay. So next thing I want to do, if you did entire project, you should be fine too. Um, I hope. Click on ceiling. We're going to go two by four ACT ceiling. If you want to know what that is, look up. You found it. It's a thing above your head. Okay. So click right here, change this to eight feet four inches, and then you're good. <laughs> That's how you put in that one. Press escape. Okay. Now for the complicated one. We need to make a basement ceiling plan because you realize that you don't have one here. So here's how you do that. You click on the view tab. And then you're going to go to plan views and you're going to go to reflected ceiling plan. Click basement, press OK. Now this will jump you right down there and you'll probably see something like this. Do you know what this is? This is your floor. Okay. This is your first floor floor, which is not what we want to be seeing right now. Here's how you fix that. You want to scroll down here. And there's a thing here called view range. Now what this is, is this allows you to be able to see below certain points and above certain points. So right now our top is foundation because our floor does peek through the foundation a little bit. But I want to change the cutting plane to 6-6. Six, six. If I press OK, my walls appear and life is good. Okay? So here's what I want to do next. I want to put one of those ACT ceilings. So I'll go back to ceiling again. And as you see, my 8 feet 4 inches is going to be way too tall. Set this to 7 feet. That should fit all nice and cozy. And there we go. We got in that ceiling. So that was awesome. Okay? But I want to teach you guys how to be able to um, change this if you need to. Let's say I want to rotate this. Why? Because I'm half mad and I just feel like it. Okay? Uh, here's what you do. If you put your mouse over one of the lines and press tab, you'll see it starts to do a selection cycle. Click here and it will choose it. Okay, so th th that's how you make a selection. In order to rotate it though, we just need to click one of these things and go rotate. I'm going to click here. We're going to angle this at a 45. Okay, give it a little feature. Give it a little something special. All right, so that's that. Um, I do want to show you one more thing real quick. Now, I want you to see what the ceiling looks like in a conjunction with the floor. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make what's called a section view. Okay. So if I click view and I go section, I'm going to draw a line around the middle of my house right here. Okay. And then if I press escape and I scroll down on here, you see where it says section. Click this and go section one. Okay. So this is what your house looks like so far. Kind of cool. This is your ceiling. You see it just as tall enough to where your floor hits. So if it looks like this, you're doing well so far. I just want to show you what this looks like. Okay? So let's go back to your basement ceiling plan real quick. All right. So next we need to do a gypsum ceiling. We did this possibly once before. I don't know what year I'm talking to at this point in time because I can't predict the future. I know. Sorry I let you guys down on that one. Yeah, no way we go. We're going to need to go ceiling. 
change this to the um, GWB on furring, which is your gypsum wallboard on furring. Click Edit Type. Click. No, we're going to make. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We're just going to hit Edit and click the gypsum wallboard. Click on the dot, dot, dot. Okay, we're going to make a duplicate of this. So I'm going to click this button right here and go Duplicate, Selected Material. And we're going to call this one Gypsum Ceiling. Okay, we're not done yet. I need to click on Pattern and change this to Gypsum Plaster. So what I did was, was after I did this, I double-clicked on the pattern that says None. Actually, probably single-clicking is enough. I click on this, press OK. It bumps it there, press OK. Press OK. Press OK. OK? OK. Um, next, go ahead and start putting these in all of these rooms here. Except this one. This one, for some reason, it doesn't work, but there's a reason why. OK? So we're going to fix this one here in a minute. Time's up. We're going to fix it now. OK? Here's what I need you to do. We need to draw some walls in here. And these are going to be header walls. So they're a little bit different from what you're used to drawing. But before we do this, we need to make a little wall right here. So do me a favor, scroll back up to your basement floor plan. Okay. Now with most stairs in the basement, there's usually some walls around it and a little closet right here, and which is exactly what we, uh, we, uh, we will be making next. So if I click wall, I'm going to just do your basic four and a half partition. Make sure this is finished face the exterior. Draw it, trace it around here outside, and we're going to go to about the third stair and draw that in. Okay, I guarantee we'll fix this later because this is going through your stair, but I'm not too worried about that now. Okay, scroll back down to your basement floor plan, your basement ceiling plan. Okay, now we'll make, make something called a bulkhead. Okay, so click walls. It's set here. We're going to do an offset, though, of 7 feet. Okay? Your top constraint will say first floor, so I want it to go all the way up. Okay? That should say 1 6. If it does, you're fine. Okay? This will go align with this wall here. Press spacebar if it does that, and try to align up the best you can. And my screen is frozen. And there we go. And now there's a little bulkhead here. Now you have your outline done. There is no stairs. Let's see if my ceiling works now. Nope, it does not. Okay. When this happens, there's not much a whole lot we can do except for do a sketch. So we're going to do a sketch. You have your line selected. I'm just going to trace it out. So I'm not fighting this thing. Which this is an okay thing to learn how to do. I am going to go through here, so I don't have to deal with that later on. There we go. Once you have that traced out, press green check mark. You have a ceiling. Job well done, folks. Okay. We're going on to the next page now. And we're going to do the first floor ceiling way different from the, from the other floors. And I want you to go to the second floor plan first. Okay. Click this floor right here. We're going to put the, because like in most second floors, your ceiling goes right underneath that floor. So instead of just dumping one, we're going to put one right underneath it. So here's all I need you to do. Click at, click at a type. Um, I'm going to make a duplicate of this just so it doesn't happen twice. And I'm just going to put second floor here just so it doesn't mess up anything else I do later on. Press OK. Click Click the other button. We're going to click on the insert tab right here. Change this to finish one. Change the by category to your ceiling, to your distance ceiling. Press OK. And then we're going to make this a half inch. Your typical size for a drywall. And press OK. And press OK. Now you may not think you did anything. But in reality, you did. Reality, you did. Because if you click on the first floor ceiling plan, you see your ceiling. Now, we do have to do... No, that's it for this. 
We don't have to do anything else. So, the last thing I'm going to do is go back up to your second floor ceiling plan. We're just going to dump in some ceilings right here. So I'm going to click on my ceiling. Um, seven feet is way too low. Let's go eight feet two inches. Click throughout the rest of your rooms. This should hide your roof and other things like that. Oops, I'm not sure why that's not working. And that's not working. You should be able to click on all these. If not, let's see what happens if I lower it down some. We'll do 7-Eleven. Maybe it's my wall height for there. Nope. Okay. Guess what we have to do, folks. If yours is not working like mine is, we're just going to do a quick tracing around here. Bada bing, bada boom. We're done. Uh, ceiling. I'm going to make this back up to 82 again. If yours is not 82, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Just like to be a little bit consistent here. There we go. Ceiling is in and done. I have a few more minutes here. I can do some lights. Um, now, the one thing I don't like about this, just for starters, is these little half pieces right here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click here. I'm going to press move. I'm going to click the edge of this and just drag it over a little bit. And then that should move it over. This is that section. That way we don't have as many holes and this is a lot better over here. I'm also going to click this one here. Press move again. I'm going to drag this up to here. I just left click and held. And click. And then, so that way you have less, like, half pieces. But if not, it's not a big deal. So we're going to put some light fixtures in here. So click Component, click Load Family. There is light fixtures in here. We'll, we'll dive into more of this when we get into rendering later on. So click Architectural, Internal. Um, there should be some 2x4 parabolic lights. Press Open. And we're going to put just four of these things in here. So. Remember, the more you put in, the longer things will take to render and stuff like that. So don't fill up every single square if you don't need to. Still going. And there it is. So zoom in on these. That way they're square. That really bugs them when they're not. I think about two in between. I'm going to do four here total. There you go. All right, those lights are done. Let's go to the basement real quick and I'll show you how to do those. So basement floor plan. Okay, we're gonna go back to your lights. So go to component one more time, dump one. Click it, hit rotate. Now to rotate something, you wanna move your mouse above the house, click it and it'll give you your angle. Same angle that you made that at, which is 45, okay? Then press move, and I'm going to move with a corner. Much easier than trying to do the middles or anything else. So now I'm going to create copy. I'm going to do multiple, so I don't have to keep doing this all over again. So if I click another corner, put one here, put one here, and we'll go here. I'm going to move that one out like it. Just dump some lights in. If it's not, you can have some fun with this. So I'm going to move this one. You can put it wherever you like. I just would like mine here. So this doesn't line up, and that bugs me. So I'm going to move this one. So just put some lights in for these, and then you should be good. Okay. If you want to do more lights, go ahead. Otherwise, this is good enough. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.